I'm Chef Mike Moses and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make a traditional maritime fish cake. And I've got that coming up. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of these, please subscribe. I welcome your comments and I welcome you to my channel. Every week I put new videos up. Also, if you really like to support me in what I'm doing, you can drop by my Amazon shop or you can even sign up on our Patreon page. Back in the 30s and 40s, when people used to fish, they would preserve their fish with salt. Hence the phrase salt cod, salt haddock, salt fish. We're gonna need one pound of salted cod. Also, I need about a quarter of a pound of mashed potatoes, some summer savory, salt and pepper. These crispy fish cakes are a great addition to any meal, and we're gonna show you how to make them. First of all, when we look at the cod, uh, this has been soaking overnight. It's right out of the bag, nice and salty. It's called boned salt cod fillets, and I'm trying to get my head around the fact that boned means there's bones in them, or bones means that the bones have been removed. Apparently, the bones have been removed. That's what boned salt cod means. All right, for the salt cod, it's been soaking overnight. We'll take the wrap off it. Pot of fresh water. We'll turn the heat on to high for that. And while we're at it, might as well peel some potatoes because that's what we do in the kitchen. Our ratio of salt cod to potato is going to be about 75% fish, 25% mashed potatoes. After all, these are fish cakes and not potato cakes. And you want to slice your potatoes up for quick boiling. And since it's all about flavor, we're going to boil our potatoes in some chicken stock. The fish will take the same amount of time to break down as the potatoes are to cook, and then we'll mash those up with some salt and pepper and a little bit of butter. So let's get that done, and then we'll move on to assembling our fish cakes. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes, and we've had the cod on the boil. We've also had our potatoes on the boil, and both are done. You can test the cod by just taking a little piece, seeing if it flakes apart, if it tastes tender, then you, you know it's done. So now we're gonna mash up our potatoes. And to do mashed potatoes for this, we don't want them like we would traditional mashed potatoes. We don't want a lot of fat in them, but we do want some. First thing you have to do, have to season up your potatoes. Pinch of kosher salt. Some good grinds of pepper. You want to add about a quarter of a cup of milk and one teaspoon of butter. There. Now your, your potatoes are wet, but they're not soaking wet, so it makes it easier to make the fish cake. We're gonna let this cool down so we can handle it, probably for 30 minutes again. And during that 30 minutes, we also wanna cool our cod down so we can handle it all in the same bowl. So what we'll do is take our cod off the heat. So that it cools down quicker, we're gonna move our cod to a plate. Be very careful, because it will fall apart. There we have one pound of salt cod, soaked overnight, then boiled in fresh water, and you'll see it just, it just falls apart, it just flakes right apart. We'll let this cool down, and then we'll get into our making of the fish cakes. Never hurts the taste every now and then too, because you don't want your cod too salty. This is just perfect. Okay, while things are cooling down, we're also gonna put some onion in our fish cakes, but we don't wanna put raw onion. We're gonna saute our onions up, and we just wanna finally chop an onion. And we'll get ready to saute those up. Okay, butter is bubbling away. And we'll add our onions. And this is just one onion. So, of course, you must season. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. You can see these are, they're not finely, it's not a finely diced onion. We don't want this on a really high heat because the butter would burn. So a medium high, medium to medium high, just enough to bring out the onion flavor. I want to keep moving the onions around so that they don't get dark brown. Our onions are done. They've been lightly sauteed. 
They are translucent and ready to go into the mixture. Okay, it's time now to assemble everything. Once the onions have cooled, the cod is cooled, the potatoes have cooled, I have an egg as a binder, and let's get right into it. First thing, we'll take our cod, break it up, or flake it up, whichever way you would like to say. Now remember, we used about a pound of cod, so we want to use, uh, the ratio is usually three to, three to one, so that'd be about a quarter pound of potatoes. But as we break up the cod, I'm also checking for bones, because I don't know why, but I always find a bone. Even in boneless cod, fish cakes have been in my family for many, many, many years. Now you just want to break up the fish so it's nice and flaky. Now we'll add our onions. And we'll add our potatoes. Like I said, it's a three to one mixture. Our savory. And I'm probably using about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of savory. And of course our binder, one egg. Now comes the fun part, get in there with the hands and get it all mixed up. Remember this is a fish cake, not a potato cake. You're probably asking about salt and pepper. Well, don't really need any because we seasoned, we seasoned the potatoes, we seasoned our onions, and the cod had enough salt in it, and we leached most of it out, but it still had enough in it to give it a good taste. Now for the fun part, a fresh pair of gloves on, and this should yield probably six, six fish cakes. You want it about a softball size, then just form it with your hands. It's almost like you're making a hamburger patty. So that's a fish cake. And there we are. What I want to do now is put them in the fridge, let them set up probably for about an hour, and then we'll cook them up and have fish cakes for supper. Time now to fry up our fish cakes, and I've got the heat on medium-high. We don't want it high because we don't want to burn them. We just want to get them nice and crispy. And what I'll do is I'll add a teaspoon of butter and an equal amount of grapeseed oil. That'll keep the butter from burning. And we'll just put our fish cakes in. I don't want to crowd the pan, so I'll only put four in at a time. This is going to take some time because you want the bottom to be really crispy. And then when we flip them over, you'll see, they'll be nice and golden brown. And once your fish cakes are in the pan, you don't want to move them. You want a nice crust. Time to flip them over. Oh, look at that, nice and golden brown. So they've been cooking undisturbed for about five minutes. Flip them over, give them another five minutes and then you're ready to serve. Fish cakes are now done. I think it's time to put some on a plate for you. And there we have a traditional maritime fish cake with salt cod, some summer savory, and of course, you have to have a side of beans. Enjoy. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I post videos like this every week, so please subscribe. Also, if you'd like more information, head over to my blog, thepersonalchef.blog where I post this recipe that you can print off. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to helping you cook better, eat healthier, and shop smarter.